beautiful music and beautiful photographs from a very talented man. Hag, you're Hello. described in this, uh, this month's practical photography as the grand master of multiple printing. Very modest. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a bit about your work. Uh, this is the, the picture that I've just finished. It's an album cover, or a CD cover, I suppose now, for a band called Strange Ways. It's actually an invertible in that it, it works from uh, every angle. From every angle, uh, which of, of course links with the title "Strange Ways." Yeah. Uh, and the music is a little strange, I would say. Is that what gives you the idea for this kind of imagery? Uh, well, I've been working on invertibles for a while, and I, obviously, when I was coming up for ideas for this, I prom promoted this idea because it was something I was interested in evolving from the ones that I've done already, and they went for it, fortunately. Yeah. Which I was very pleased about. Does does your sort of like your music and your photography work hand in hand to inspire you? Uh, the the music can help me relax when I don't know what to do with the photographs. But I only do the music for fun, strictly for fun. Uh, I have no intention of, yeah. of trying to do anything professional with it because mm. I want to keep it fun. Do you get commissions? Do you work to commissions uh, only? Photography, yes, I work for commissions and I also just do them for myself uh, sometimes. And also, if I've got nothing to do, I'll think of something that earns money maybe and try and do it. Can you tell me how you actually get to a finished product like that? I make them by, of course, the idea comes first. I photograph the band individually uh, and then I come back to the darkroom and I put each element in a different enlarger and just start throwing ideas around to see what works. And uh, this one, this portion here I didn't like, although generally it was actually quite exciting. After mm -hmm. that, it tended to get worse. I tried this piece of wood in here on a different desert, dumped that, except what happened on his head here was very interesting, mm -hmm. uh, which didn't work there. Tried other elements, didn't like those, discarded them. Uh, the final road has appeared here, and still searching for deserts and moving things around a bit. Went back to his head. Do the, do the band actually have any input on this? Uh, they haven't. Cover? Yes, they do, but at this stage they haven't beyond the idea. I don't, showing people rough things uh, is, is difficult because they can't imagine what they're going to be like after oh. I. Once I've got all the elements together, I perfect printing it and get the tones working. This one's almost there. Mm. This one, all the elements are there except this little bit, which finally arrived, which is this little grate. Basically, because I had a problem with these shadows that just right. end in the middle of nowhere. So, where did you actually get this idea from to to put these imageries together? Uh, these come from something I've been working on for a few years. Things that I called invertibles, uh, which are pictures that work any way up. Uh, but where did the idea for invertibles come from? I really don't know about that. <laughs> actually, <You woke laughs> where up do one ideas and say, come from? Oh, I fancy doing an invertible. That's right. Two pictures for the price of one. You can stick it on your wall, and when you get bored with it, you just turn it round. Do uh, you do you actually go off on on journeys to take lots of pictures? Because putting them together is quite. You, well, you I, have I, to have different shots from. I photograph things that I'm interested in all the time. Yes, or sometimes a, a picture comes with the whole concept of, um, of every element, and I have to go off and photograph each element individually and then put it together. Sometimes it happens more organically like this. Yeah. It's nicer to work organically when you can throw out ideas that don't work. Well, it it must be quite a technique in the dark room. Can a lot you? of patience is required. Yeah. Can you show me exactly Certainly, yeah. It's done? to come through. Brilliant, thank you. This is the baseboard uh, which I use in the darkroom where I draw out each individual element so I know where it goes on the paper which goes underneath here. Mm -hmm. uh, then you cover it. This, this is so you, you don't expose the paper so you can see where you're putting things. Uh, each element is projected in the enlarger up here where you can see the negatives are. Oh, right. Uh, which are masked out. The difficult bit is making the masks, of course. Uh, if we move over to the light box... How many do you need of these to do uh, the process? I've got nine enlargers in the darkroom. You need to put each element in one enlarger. In this case, there's so many elements that I've got four in one yeah. uh, because it'd be impossible to do it any other way with only nine enlargers. Yeah. Here you can see I, I actually paint out on, the, on, on top of the glass, so this edge is a little soft, it's a little out of focus. And that helps when uh, you're putting it together? It helps to get the blend, and that together with dodging, uh, which, which you can just control the light, so you're making a shadow and controlling how much light you get to the paper, you put them together. 
Uh, the, this is opaque, which you see here, which just, you can just paint on glass and it rubs off it's very easily, it's water solvent. So you can mess about with it like that until you get it right. There's one way of doing it, there's lots of different ways of doing it as yeah. well, other forms of masking, it, it depends on the picture. Do you actually see yourself as a photographer, Hag, or an artist? Because it seems like a combination well, to me. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I suppose as an artist, really, uh, but I use photographs. As the medium. A, a lot of photographers uh, don't like my work because I intrude on the sanctity of the frame and I'm not interested in the photograph as a, as a court moment of time. But I think most people realise that most of it isn't true and a lot of stuff's set up and, and what you see isn't always what you get. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you actually, have you been influenced by anybody? Uh, I was inspired by an American photographer called Jerry Ulsman, who, when I was at college in the 70s, uh, sorry, late 60s, I saw his work and made me start wanting to join things together. But before that, I was always manipulative, uh, always liked to play around with things. Well, let's see some more of your work, Hag. Thanks very much. Thank you.